UNICEF, WHO and VABA along with the scientific community strongly recommends initiating breastfeeding with an hour of birth. Evidence shows that early initiation can prevent 22% of all deaths among babies below one month in developing countries. Yet, no specific method of initiation of breastfeeding has been widely recommended by the scientific community. In the current scenario, where high rates of undernutrition in young children is prevalent, which is 46% in India, according to NFHS3, coupled with high morbidity and mortality. We, in Maharashtra, felt a dire need to identify evidence-based workable method which is easy, replicable and cost-effective. It is also known that like the young ones of animals, even human babies can initiate breastfeeding on their own, provided they are kept between mother's breasts. This is known as breast crawl. Government of Maharashtra, Nutrition Mission, ICDS and BPNI Maharashtra jointly with UNICEF has initiated an ambitious program to train government NGO functionaries in basics of infant and young child feeding. The miracle has moved one and all, from the grassroots health workers to the highest bureaucrats and they have accepted it as the answer for early initiation. Soon after delivery and after the baby has cried and started breathing well, <laughs> baby is shown to the mother and kept close to her with a cheek-to-cheek -cheek contact. This helps the mother to kiss the baby and also facilitates the local custom of saying a holy message in baby's ear. Subsequently, baby is kept prone in between the breasts. All care should be taken to prevent the baby from falling. If the weather is cold, then baby should be covered with a warm cloth. Baby is very alert soon after delivery and hence is at its instinctive best. Baby is also kept warm being in close contact with the mother. Baby is also prevented from future infections because she starts acquiring healthy germs which will colonize her skin and intestines. Thus this position ensures early instinctive stimulation and gives warmth, love, security and also food. It also initiates bonding process between the baby and the mother. Kicks will give tender firm jerks to the womb, stimulating it to contract. This will help to expel placenta and reduce bleeding. Once baby realizes that food is in close proximity, it starts salivating. Smell is a strong stimulus which drives the baby towards the nipple. Baby's smell sensation is well developed. Smell of a chemical on nipples is similar to the smell of a chemical in amniotic fluid which surrounds the baby in the womb. Mouthing movements start. Her shoulder, hip and neck muscles are sufficiently developed to help her move. Baby with her limited vision can see the areola. If baby raises her head, it can also see mother's face. Baby has reached the nipple, has raised her head and has nicely lashed it with wide open mouth and mouth full of breast. What a beautiful moment of joy for the mother and the child.
this baby has reached the destination in just over 10 minutes. Majority of babies will successfully complete breast crawl in about 30 to 60 minutes. Like all other gifts of nature, this comes free of cost. However, the health and nutrition benefits offered will save millions of lives and will save billions in terms of health cost. It will create a generation which will reach highest human potential of growth and development. We request you to carry this message to all future mothers and their families to prepare them to experience this miracle. Train every health worker in the maternity service to help every baby and mother to initiate breastfeeding by nature's way.